Now, Go. what is up, locker heads and whoever else? Uh, this isn't from a locker, but this is kind of like a locker. It's a little mini locker, I guess we bought. We paid $92 for this case. Uh, we bought a lot, bunch of other stuff that's over there as well. But this case in particular was like, I guess, an unsearched case that they were just selling. We wanted a case for the flea market, and we noticed a few nice things. So we paid $92 for this. Um, I thought it was going to go for like $150 to $300, to, like just by like some of the stuff we saw inside. And now seeing what's inside, I think it should have probably even went for more. Let's open it. This is the first thing I noticed. To me, it looks like it's going to be silver. Just from, okay, it says made in Italy. Any Hallmark? Oh, are you, are you kidding? It says Tiffany and Co. Sterling. What? <laughs> uh, I don't know if you can see that. Uh, oh, nice. Well, this might actually be worth what the entire case was. Uh, this look maybe silver. Uh... No, it doesn't actually look silver, but maybe it is. I just have to... Uh, I'll look better in a little while. I don't see any marks, but it kind of does look silver, but the bottom makes me think it's not silver, because usually they don't do that with silver. Let's look at... Well, this one is Reed and Barton Pewter. Oh my god. Reed and Barton's a very good company, so that's nice. Oh, uh, this is what? A squeezer thing? A strainer. Strainer. Uh, we got this cool little box. Oh, there's that picture. Nice. But the box is really nice. These I saw, I didn't think they were silver, but when I was looking up even similar stuff like this, it seemed to go for like... 10 bucks, 15 bucks for like, I didn't even realize it was a bell. Uh, this one seems it might be a little broken though. Or maybe just be it's loose. But uh, we'll try and fix that later. Uh, we got, oh wow, it actually, what does it say on the back? Bastion Bros Co. The pin actually, I don't know about that, but the pin actually is like Hallmark. What? So the pin actually thing might actually be worth some money. So the next thing I noticed was this little pin. I don't know if it's going to be silver because it kind of has a rainbow. But if somebody made it into a brooch and it's signed on the back, so you never know. It's like it's part of a knife, right? Like it's a, a knife. It's the handle a of butter, a knife. A dinner knife. But uh, it's, it's a brooch. It might go on one of my hats though. <laughs> I've been putting silver stuff on my hats recently. This ashtray I noticed in the thing, and it's the SS and the Queen Mary. I know these are worth like 10 to 15 bucks, so that's nice. Um, Casino Mont Monte Carlo. It's like a, uh, that must be the Monte Carlo suite of one of the casinos or something like that. Oh, look, it's, it's even Hallmark. Oh my goodness. Like, I can't believe this stuff was included in here for free, if you want to be honest with you. Um, oh, this might be gold. Hold on. This is gold. Are you kidding me? Is it really gold? We're going to have to test it. This could possibly be gold. I just thought somebody would search this a little bit better, but I guess not. Um, it's good for us. This, I don't think it's gold, but we'll still put it for testing. Oh, oh what is this pen? This is probably, uh, silver. But it's a Schaefer pen. I know this pen is worth, or pencil. It's a pencil. This pencil is <laughs> worth at least 10 to 15 bucks because it's a Schaefer. And if it's silver, it's worth more. So that's a, another good one. This is made in the USA pencil. Uh, I don't know the brand or anything, but another nice old pencil. We got this. Lock it. That's pretty cool. This could even be worth gold or something, but I don't think so with how it's 
<sighs> this is crazy. And we're gonna come back because I don't want to spend all day just looking around. But we're definitely gonna come back and look. There's nothing on this one. Yes, there is. Where? Oh, that was this thing. Sorry. There's a pin. So this pin it says sterling this is a sterling silver pen so that's pretty cool oh this one we don't that's have to really test but it's pretty. a really really nice piece that we usually sell at the flea market for five or ten bucks usually we start the day at ten dollars and work our way down to five by the end of the day but they usually do sell sorry i'm a little rusty at this everyone it's been a long time i don't think this is a money clip unless you're going with fat stacks but it, it is. is it's a fat stack clip it's cool. Oh yeah, let's look at the brush, which I thought might be silver. I still think it could be silver. No hallmarks? That you can yep, right there. It oh. is sterling. Wow. Woo sterling silver brush. This is probably worth 15, 10, 15 bucks. Like we said, guys, this was $92 for all this stuff plus the case. The case, the case itself is worth like 40, 50 bucks. Uh, this, what is this called? Uh, Moccolite or something? Well, it's hallmarked. It says Hellcraft or Hillcraft. Yeah, that's a Hollycraft. We have an old hat pin. This says something on it. This I can't make nice... it out. What? Oh, this one? Yeah, it's got like a weird... Well, this is a hand-signed, handmade earring yeah. or brooch or pin or whatever it is. Uh... I don't think it's gold, but because it's handmade, it could be worth it. Yeah. It has a pair. So these could be worth oh. money if we figure out who the maker was. Uh, we are going to come back at the end. This is this is a badge for United States Pony Club. Oh, oh turtle. Oh, yeah, the turtle. This is the sign turtle. that my grandma's with us. We always find turtles. And then we have a vintage Barnum & Bailey's pin. No, awesome. then there's a Ringling Brothers patch. That's the same, yeah, same. That's cool. A nice horse pin. And then we have this. This is really nice. Uh, I don't know exactly how these work. I think this might actually... It's like um, a lapel pin, I think. But it has a beautiful cameo on it. Are you kidding me? A silver plate buckle. An antique one. That's pretty damn cool. A little doll that's stand Japan on the back. Ooh! Look at this towel sterling. Are you serious? A towel sterling. Oh my earring. god! Wow. We have this box, which I don't know exactly. I think it's like for lipstick. Yeah, it's a lipstick case. It's a lipstick case. Uh, it's really nice though. It's just a little bent. I'll bend it back to shape. Anything else? This needs to be tested. Oh, look, it, it, it's gold. Oh my god. I remember this? I was bidding on something like yeah. this. Yeah. I'm pretty sure this is gold. Teeth. Yeah, it's a teeth. I bid on something like this, but we didn't win it. So random. That's sterling. It's sterling with gold over it. It's oh for god. a museum. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty cool. And this is a bag. I think this might be gold fill, but we're going to look. And this is a bag for, or no, 100% attendance for wow. somebody. That's pretty cool. This is the Lions Club. Yeah, that's the Lions Club. Oh, cool. Oh, wow. This is a lacquer, I guess, earring? Wow. But it's lacquer. It's really beautiful. Um, Another pin. Oh, look at this. Oh, wow. This is awesome. Oh, what is this? How do we not see this? It must have been, like, buried, but... It's like a little case. Oh, Hold on, I just don't want to lose it. Help me open it. I can't really get the camera. Oh. I have nails. I can do it. Yeah. Wow, look at this case. I'm going to put the teeth in there. <laughs> put our teeth in the case. <laughs> don't worry, we're oh, on the case. Oh my god, a gold teeth charm. I can't believe it. That's really. That's a. That's weird. This is gold. That's gonna be gold. That's gold? Yeah. It doesn't have a screw back if it's gold, if it's not gold. It has hallmarks on it. Yeah. Let's get into all of this amazing stuff. 
we bought this lot. It was supposed to be 12 karat gold, but it ended up being a 12 karat gold fill. So we are going to be bringing it back for a refund of $103, I believe it was. So it overall came out to all this stuff was $1,000, uh, which sounds like a lot, but really it wasn't too bad. So let's start off with the stuff we're going to be keeping. These are little trinkets like the Russian, the last of the Russian nesting dolls, a uh, little dude, some Tabasco sauce, one of the cats Alyssa loves, a troll doll. Uh, one of the squirrely friends, or girlfriend, uh, the double-headed dragon, and then just some bits of knacks, bits of bobs, nicks and knacks we like. And then let's start over here for the flea market. Uh, this is mostly just bottles and little toys and some old perfume bottles that aren't worth as much. Uh, they're gonna be going to the flea market, and we'll be selling those for maybe like a dollar a piece. Same with these bottles, but maybe like $2 a piece because they're a little bit bigger, a little darker. People seem to like those a little bit better. And then all this stuff, you saw it in the video, uh, is in the beginning of the video, you saw as we're going through it. This is pretty much all that stuff. It's just uh, flea market stuff. Very worth, good costume. Worth uh, anywhere from a dollar to six bucks a piece. Yes. Now these guys are plastic uh, Britain's LTD soldiers. <laughs> I didn't think they were going to sell that well. Uh, we paid 70 bucks for the entire lot of these, plus that over there. Oh, Go yep. Right quick. Castle. But we all we paid for, for both. Yeah, it all came in a lot. Um, but so far, we sold uh, 18 of them for 9 bucks. So right now, we only need to make 60 bucks or... What is that? Fifty nine more bucks. <laughs> I can't do that. No. Sixty one more dollars. There we go. Sorry. Sixty one. It's very hot, and, and I'm tired. It is very hot. I uh, can't manage this. This is so. a beautiful, never used from the, I believe, sixties or seventies, maybe even the eighties. Uh, compact, but it's like one of those limited edition ones. It's just powder, pressed powder. And it's really, really nice. It says it's like alligator style, if you look. Yeah, it's got like a style. And it's alligator. really nice, never used, still has the thingy on it. It's awesome. Uh, we paid 11 bucks for that one, and it sells consistently for 50 to 60 Yep. And then let's go to our red friend over there. Uh, he was in a lot with the Ninja Turtle Michelangelo, um, and we paid one forty-five for both of them, and both of them sold for one twenty-five apiece. Let's just show you these bags. These are bags of souvenir and some silver plate spoons and knives that do sell for like a dollar or two usually. At the the flea market. All right, so we got Mr. Peanut here. There you go. One of the ones that likes. Some of these go for like five, ten bucks on eBay, but most of yeah. like the the one the small souvenir, cheaper quality ones go for a dollar at the flea market. And the silver plate stuff people use for artwork, believe it or not, to turn into bracelets, to turn into brooches, and those go mm -hmm. for a dollar or two at the flea market as well. Or some people might have a full set and they're looking for one or two pieces from a specific one. And they're very nice. These two, this one is, I guess, the poke and push off. <laughs> it's so cool. And this is like for measuring and... Is that what it's for? The bigger version is for ice cream. They're not worth much. We're probably keeping those. Uh, this, this one is... What was it again? Oh, the Waldo. I should have known that because I just took pictures of it. it's not it. <laughs> where's Waldo, but this one is collectible, and I think they go for like 10 bucks, if I wasn't mistaken. Nice. The ones I the ones I was finding. It's pretty. And then this one was, oh yeah, the Harvard Silver Company. Yeah. Uh, this was going for like 5, 10 bucks. Throw those on eBay. This buckle is going to be on eBay, but it's silver plate, this one. And that's going to be another 5 to 10 bucks. Same with the pin, but the yeah. pin I think is more eight to ten. I think it's a little higher. This thing actually goes for fifteen to twenty. Hold on, it's upside down. Oh. The Monte Boom. the Monte Carlo thing goes for fifteen to twenty. This piece of jewelry actually had a clip here too. 
And it looked really well made, right? So I'm like, that could possibly be gold. So I ripped it off and I tested it and I tested it as gold. And I was so unconvinced it was gold. Obviously, I hit it with a magnet. So then I started putting the acid directly on it. And you'll see like the 18 karat acid showed that it was 14 karat. But it is gold. I test as gold. And when you put it, scratch it. So it's like three grams of gold that we were going to throw out because we thought it was just part of this. But we realized that the jewelry was really well made. Yeah. It was just broken. So always check certain little things that look like that. You never know. And these bottles. Oh. I'm just going to show you a few examples from this bag. But most of these bottles are like 5 to $15 each, which is crazy. So these three sold. And for these three bottles, yeah, these are mostly full. They were used a little. But just these three sold for 25 Yeah. And this one, similar pieces to this orange one are listed for like 30 or 50 bucks. But I have it for like 20 or 30 something like that, I believe. So now let's go to the salt and pepper shakers by, what is it, Christoffel? Christoffel, which I found out that was full. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> Salt everywhere. It works, you guys. <laughs> Threw it over your shoulder. So we paid twelve or thirteen. Yeah, something like that. We paid twelve or thirteen. We have them listed for seventy-five. The last time they sold on eBay, they sold for eighty-five. <laughs> this is actually uh, coin silver, and oops, it's supposed to spin, but it's broken, and they glued it back on. I still listed it for 15 bucks because it's really cool and working. They go for almost 40. Uh, these we'll come back to. The St. Mary's. No. Oh, St. Mary's. The St. Mary's ashtray uh, is worth 15 to 20 bucks. But probably a little less because it is beat up. I would probably say closer to 15. Oh, I forgot about this spoon. It's my favorite know. spoon. It's so cool. Look at that. It's really wild. Uh... It was actually in one of the silver plate lots, and it this, it's actually sterling. One of these bags. There was a bunch in that. We're going to get to that. Uh, okay, so let's go. This was all the silver and, well, not all silver, because this Pins was... Pins that are... They were found in this case that I told you we'd be coming back to later. Yeah. And this is probably... Oh, these earrings were gold filled. This was sterling. That's All the pins are sterling except for the champagne pin. Yep. Um, and each one is worth anywhere from 8 to $15 with one of them being worth about 40 because of what they're associated with. Like Knights of Columbus and stuff like that. So, and so some of them are pretty rare and valuable. Uh, this girl that we found. This lady that I didn't think was a lipstick Alyssa holder. Alyssa was like, oh, that's not a lipstick holder. But I, I think it's something cool. I said, no, it's definitely a paper mache lipstick holder. It looks small. I don't know. So I ended up looking it up. And it was a paper mache lipstick holder that goes. They're listed for like 150 but they usually sell for around 40 to 120 depending on condition. So then let's get to the spoons. These spoons, if you see, there's five of them. I messed up. The five of these were in the sterling silver plate lot, but they're all sterling, and they're from a, like a set of I think, I think it's like eight. Yeah. But there's five of them. And the last time five of them sold together, it sold for 70. I think I have them listed for 60. These butter knives were in the Sterling lot. Westmoreland, they're worth 15 bucks a piece. Ooh, they're pretty nice. This one already sold. This was supposed to be a Gorham one, but it wore off. Yeah, so the actual Gorham stamp was on there. You can see it wore off, but we, so, we can't But we really... still sold it for 65 <laughs> It's yeah. not 150 to 200 but still 65 bucks. Yeah. We only paid $80 for the entire lot. Uh, and then we have this Tiffany salt and pepper shaker that we said we would research. And they seem to go anywhere from 60 to 125 All over the place in any condition. Like, it's, there's no consistency. Uh, the Bolo, we paid 13 bucks for. We have it listed for, I believe, 50 or 60 So this, this earring set... It's a pearl. It's a pearl earring and necklace set. Yeah. 
Here you see Beautiful. It. That's listed. That's uh, up to forty three dollars in bids right now. Because I I like to start stuff at a dollar, and this is a it's called a tin cup pearl fourteen carat pearl necklace, and it's fourteen inches long. It's at a hundred and twenty dollars right now. It still has a few hours left. Uh, the pendant we sent out yesterday uh, sold for four hundred. Um, that was a diamond pendant. And then this is a nine carat random portrait pendant we found, uh, made in England. And we see them listed for anywhere from like 500 to $700. Uh, if it would have been 18 carat, they go all the way up to like $1,900. This is the 14 carat gold scrap lot. We just put it up and it's at about 50 bucks right now. It's worth 12 grams. So it's going to be around 320 to 380 or 400 somewhere in that range depending but it's all scrap it's nothing really like usable and nice that's gonna pretty much be it thank you guys for watching and we will see you guys next time bye